Good morning, Patriots. I'm not Quell. Today is Monday, September 23rd. Welcome to A-Town Today. Here's what's happening at AHS. All this week, the GSA will be holding a booth for Ally Week in the front lobby. They will be handing out items as well as selling raffle tickets for Friday. On Tuesday, there will be a meeting in room 56 going over this upcoming week as well as other things. On Wednesday, there will be a bake sale fundraiser in the Breezeway for Patriot Period. Raffle winners will be announced on Friday. Need help building your resume? Want to get a second opinion on a resume you've already created? Sign up for the resume workshop with Mrs. McMahon and the CDC using the Adaptive Scheduler. These workshops will be held weekly during Patriot Period. You can also stop by the Career Center in the library and set up an appointment. To all of Mr. Lecty's former students, we will be doing a mock dig during Patriot Period on Wednesday, September 25th. Be sure to sign up if you want to finally experience the dig. The Young Republicans and Conservatives will be meeting today to conduct club officer elections. Sign up for Patriot Period with Mr. Tarab in room 241. The National English Honor Society will have its first meeting of the year during Patriot Period today in room 409. We will discuss membership requirements and upcoming activities. If you're unable to attend, please see Mr. Panaris and be sure to check your email for a Google Classroom invite. There will be an HBCU college fair in Richmond that will be held on September 28th. It is only open to seniors and space is very limited. Students must pick up and return their parent permission slips to Ms. Gadow in the counseling office. Hey Patriots, on Wednesday, September 25th, the FCA is hosting a national See You at the Pole at 8 a.m. at the flagpole in front of the school. Join us for a time of prayer, worship, and fellowship on the morning of the 25th. Bagels and Bibles will be provided. Attention artists, the art department is starting a ceramics club for any student interested in working or learning to work with clay during Patriot period. Our interest meeting will be today in room 55. Hope to see you there. For all students who drive themselves to school, some of our neighbors have requested that students not turn around in private driveways after turning on hydraulic road. Please respect private property and only drive on public roads. This week is Banned Books Week, a time when librarians and book lovers everywhere promote First Amendment rights and the rights of students to read freely and widely without the restrictions of censorship. To celebrate some of the great works of literature that have been banned in schools and libraries around the country, we've teamed up with our awesome library staff to bring you a literary challenge to test your book smarts. Each day this week, we'll read a short passage from Banned Book if you know what book the passage is from, go to the library, write down your guess, and drop it in the special band box, books box. Each day, one name will be drawn from the correct guesses, and that person will win a fabulous prize from our librarians. Here's today's band book passage. Roger gathered a handful of stones and began to throw them. If there was a space round Henry, perhaps six yards in diameter into which he dare not throw. Here, Invisible yet strong was the taboo of the old life. Round the squatting child was the protection of parents and school and policemen and the law. Roger Gap. In sports news, this weekend, boys and girls cross country raced at FUMA. The team finished a close second behind Western Albemarle by just five points. Albemarle Volleyball finished second out of nine teams at this year's Albemarle Showcase Tournament. There will be a girls' tennis interest meeting in Mr. Lyon's room, 164, in the social studies hallway on Friday, September 27th. Come learn about fall conditioning and expectations for the season. All that are potentially interested in trying out in the spring should attend. That's all for now. Have a great day.